This hurricane is the worst one coming from the Atlantic Ocean on record. On record! Here we are going to be arriving into Florida straight after the hurricane and possibly just before another one hits. guys so today is another day at sea right now we are passing the Cayman Islands and it's about 8 20 and we are about to go down for breakfast and we're gonna go have it in the formal dining room today we've got to go meet our parents down there me and Fraser are about to head down by ourselves and yeah we're gonna get this day started <laughs> found my brother, also found Ryan. Then we, what did we do? We went up to get food? Yeah, then we went up to get food, had some food, and now we're about to go rock climbing. Just came back to the room to get my socks. I come into the room, the news is on, and it's saying that 600,000 people are being evacuated from Florida. Petrol and everything's run out there, so worrying, very worrying, and it's the worst storm to hit the Bahamas in the past like 30 years. This is really sketchy. 600,000 people. There's no petrol in Florida. Shelves are empty of food and drink. It's a British territory. We knew it was going to become a hurricane, and it is. So as you can tell, I am ready for dinner now. Got my dress on, got my hair curled all nicely, and now we're just sitting waiting to go. However, we watched more of the news and I'd just like to give you guys a bit of information. There are now actually three hurricanes sort of in the this part of the world, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. We got Irma, which is the one we're trying to avoid, the one that is most likely is basically definitely gonna hit Florida and apparently it's gonna hit it hard. All the flights from tomorrow onwards are apparently canceled. There's gonna be a lot of people trying to get on the flights later on, like the flights that we're gonna try and get out on, if the airport is even open by the time we actually want to leave. So I have no idea how long I'm gonna be stuck in Florida for. And not only that, but the hurricane after, Jose, well, it's coming from the same direction as Irma. Really, really hoping that it doesn't hit while we're in Florida, but we can just hope for the best. All I know is that we are still getting in to port two days late, if there is a port to still return to, according to the captain. And it's been declared a state of emergency. And here we are gonna be arriving into Florida straight after the hurricane and possibly just before another one hits. So it's pretty sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know what to say about it right now. Obviously, I'm not qualified, I have no idea how this works, but let's just get on with the rest of the cruise, I guess. Another disaster that has happened is that I've got so many mosquito bites from Jamaica. Like, so many, it's not even funny, and it's just, ugh, I'm just itchy everywhere. But I mean, obviously, not as bad as the hurricane, but still, still a disaster for me in my own right. <laughs> Look at all the water! Yeah, I'm in the ocean! <laughs> so pretty, though. See, people, this is why I love cruises. This, this reason right here is why I love cruises. Look at that expanse, isn't that just amazing? How can you not love that? I'm having more fun than they are. Look at that baked Alaska. What is this? Molten I come chocolate. from a place called Yellowstone National Park. Have you heard about that? New York cheesecake. If you can't tell, back from dinner. And we are gonna go down to the ice rink on this ship. Yes, this ship does have an ice rink. And we're gonna watch the Frozen in Time show, which is basically an ice skating show. So that should be pretty cool. Tomorrow we are gonna be in Cozumel in Mexico. Because of our delay, because of our extra days, we're basically staying in Cozumel uh, overnight. So we're gonna be there two days. Should be interesting. It means we could go out and see the nightlife if we wanted. We probably won't though. <laughs> TV just 
just said that this hurricane is the worst one coming from the Atlantic Ocean on record. On record! <laughs> this thing just keeps getting worse and worse. I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> what is this? Yes, it is morning again. I couldn't sign out because obviously, my, again, once again, my family was all sleeping when I came back. So yeah, last night, obviously, we went to that uh, 70s disco in the Royal Promenade. That was okay. Could have been better, but I don't know, the vibe just wasn't really there and there weren't all the songs that I knew. Then we went to Johnny Rockets to try and meet up with Ryan, but he didn't come. And some other people showed up, you know, sort of made some more friends, reunited with some other people that we met on the first day. But anyway, right now I am in Cozumel, Mexico. So if you want to see the vlog from here, go down and hit that red subscribe button below. Make me a happy girl. <laughs> also, don't forget to give this video a like as well. And I will see you soon in the next vlog. Bye, guys.